December 2021 and in this video I'm just going to answer another question that has been asked of me more than once and that is how am I feeling physically and emotionally mentally physically I would have to say that um, I live with 24 7 pain from the injuries I sustained on May 4 2013 which ties into the part of my story that talks about whistleblowing and exposing first-hand knowledge and that pain limits me a lot uh, primarily my hands and my wrists and it's hard to do things we take for granted how much we use our hands for everything I mean we, we, I mean, we can think about it and say well yeah it makes sense but really throughout the day you don't really think about your hands or your feet or anything you just go ahead and do things so when I do do things, uh, even uh, just some chores or building something small with uh, a drill and a screwdriver bit and some screws for someone, my hands swell up, a lot of pain, and then I just take some Tylenols or Advils or something for that, whatever I have available, whatever someone gives me for that. So. I deal with that 24-7 plus um, some other health issues that have that are related that have gotten worse over time and then you know just other things going on so physically with regards to that um, I deal with that 24-7 and then uh, obviously there's dealing in the winter time with cold and everything else so that kind of answers the physical part. Emotionally, I have my ups and downs like everyone throughout the day. And, you know, it is what it is. I try not to be consumed by negative things. And I've said this before in other videos that some of my videos, when I talk about my situation and stuff, and it's stressful. And I, I am dealing with uh, post-traumatic stress from the May 4, 2013 event and suppose even prior in December 2012 where I had the shock of my life and throughout the years just the bombardment of dramatic events dealing with the courts and everything and the injustice. So I deal with that and I try not to get consumed and I, the most important thing is it's not to dwell on things and think about negative things because that will break you down so fast and this kind of ties in with for example worldwide current events and a lot of people for example not going along with official narratives and what's being imposed to what they're trying to avoid and some people are strong and they stand by their conviction on you know their position and they're suffering the consequences for it so when you're going through that, you just have to, when new things come up, you deal with it, put it aside, move on, keep doing that. And then someday, like you're gonna have to come back and revisit that to resolve it uh, inside of yourself or whatever, uh, put it away permanently type of thing. But you save that for when you're strong enough and you're not dealing with a whole bunch of things on your plate. So for me, emotionally, uh, it's, a, it's a struggle and just with basic needs and everything else, trying to get through and, ev and everything. And then I suppose the worst place to ha try to have a conversation with someone, especially via text is in um, online groups and social media. 
and a lot of what somebody might want to try to say gets lost because you're trying to keep it short and to the point and yeah that's that's a di that's a different video so emotionally you know just trying to deal with uh, everyday things so but overall as I was saying what's gotten me through over the years is my core being positive I don't know where it comes from really but if it wasn't for that then that would be totally destroyed and there's a lot of people and I mentioned this in a few videos who for example people who do videos online and they come across all happy and pumped up and exciting and people watching them are like oh this you know they make them feel good right and and they tell people what they want to hear but when you actually uh, look into them or get to know them they they're the opposite at their core so what they present on the outside is not reflected on the inside and you know there's many stories sad stories of people um, using permanent uh, solutions as they perceive it and um, ending themselves because whatever's going on in their minds or in their life but on the outside they appear completely like happy and go lucky and everything else and then you know family and friends will say never seen it coming so you can't really judge a book by its cover with maybe how somebody's presenting themselves or a moment that somebody's sharing on how they are at their core. But um, it's it's hard, I'm not gonna lie, it is hard and everything else. So anyway, I just wanted to address really that one question that had two parts, how I am mentally and physically. Physically, pain all the time, and emotionally, my ups and downs, but my core is positive and that's what keeps me going. Anyway, hopefully you find something useful in this. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. That means press on. That means endure. That means God cannot fail. If you're not going to give up, that's not an option for a child of God. This means you. Listen to this and write it down if you can't remember it. You're never going to outgrow warfare. You simply must learn to fight. I hear people saying to me, oh, when is it going to get easier? When you die.